Hi everyone, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to join us to paint along. And I have with me Luna. And how old are you? Six. Six. Oh, I haven't asked you in a while. What's your favorite color? Green. Green? Ooh, good color, good color. Ooh, did it change? Has it always been green? It changed. I like that. Like light green or dark green? Both. Both. Mm. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Well, we are going to be painting here with you today. We're really excited. We're making beautiful cards together. Hey. I can show you all of them that we're going to make. And we're going to be using this fun pen. So let's do an overhead view and show you the products or the supplies that we're using. So one of them, let's open it up and show them. It's called a drawing gum marker. We call it magical marker, but we're gonna use that to make these white lines. So we're gonna have really fun with that. So I want you to grab that out. And then the three colors that we're using, Luna got them out. We're doing orchid, mm -hmm. azure blue, and dandelion yellow. And her magic wand is a brush. Now you'll see we're gonna use one that's a little bit flat because we're gonna be doing lots of big washes. Then have a cup of water, your palette, and also, let's, Luna and I will show you, we also taped our paper down because we don't want it to move when we're doing a lot. So I would tape that down to your table. Then the last thing is that we're gonna do our motto together. So if you can raise your right hand, other hand, there you go. And repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, and then let's introduce you to Keenan. If you haven't met him before, he's our cameraman and he's going to be painting along with us. Hello. <laughs> I love your magic wand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first step is, is grab your magical marker. Now open it up. You'll see that it's white. So if we draw, you won't see anything. Oh. So to get it started, if you haven't done this before, shake it. Shake, 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 it, shake. Oh. <laughs> Make oh, sure dear. the cap's on. We got it. We grab the cap. So you're going to shake it. Now, when you're shaking it, and Lou comes back, is you're going to hear a ball. Can you hear it? So you're going to shake it. Let's count to 15. Can you count to 15? Nailed nice. it. Good job. Okay. And then what I want you to do is open it up, grab an extra piece of paper, and just push. Oh. <laughs> Run away cap. What happened? The cap? No, yeah. no, it's not the cap. I think it's her brush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. It just grows Here's legs and disappears. <laughs> Good. Okay, so push down onto the paper and push hard so that the tip disappears. Is your tip disappear? Yep, so it'll go into the pen. So push hard and then lift up. Do you see anything on yours? Ooh, yours is starting to see blue. So mine's nice. not quite there yet. So I think let's both put on the cap again. Make sure it clicks. Shake again. Now, if you've done this step already, you can skip ahead to when we're painting or when we're drawing with this. But we need to start ours first. So shake, shake, shake. Okay, now let's do it again. So we're gonna repeat. So push really hard. Now, there's also a guide. If you have our art box that we have every month, there'll be a guide that you can look at for the steps that we're doing. So let's see, you wanna lift up? And there we go. So if yours ever runs out, those are the steps you're gonna wanna do. And there's a guide in your box. We have an art box every month, so go and if you need that, that's there for you. Okay, it's on the back of your color mixing guide. <laughs> you're silly. Okay, so the first step is, is we are going to draw with this. So on our cards, we're making snowflake cards together, which I love making cards for people. So you get to pick the people that you want to make these cards for. So is there maybe someone in your family or a friend that you want to make a card for? Can you tell me their name? Um, like that. It's okay. Who's someone that you, so maybe who's someone in your family you want to make a card for? Um, Ella. Ella? Okay. So what's the first letter of her, of her name? E. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. So you're going to draw an E. I might have an E. Do you know how to make an E? Okay, draw a really big E in the middle. 
So that's you're going to do the same thing as think of someone and draw a letter there. Yes. Okay. E. Nice. E. Nice. Okay, so see how you can see it now? So is there someone else you want to draw one for? So I'm going to make one. I'm going to make one for my mom. Her name starts with a V. And then maybe my brother. So you're going to draw a really big letter, and this is with this magical marker. Who are you thinking of? B. For Bailey. That's so nice. Is that a friend? I like that. Okay, so we drew that part. Now what we're going to do is, because we're, we're it's, it's cold right now, and it's winter time, so we're going to make some snowflakes. So do you see on here mm -hmm. how there's some snowflakes? So draw around your letter snowflake. Now, if you've never done a snowflake before, what you want to do, is this a good spot, Keenan, for the side? Yeah, that's a great spot. Okay, so you're going to draw a line, and then you're going to draw a line across horizontal, so you make like a plus sign. <gasps> oh. And then you make an X over it. And then you can add some dots. So that's the start of it. Now you can do more, you can add other lines to it. Lou did some cool lines on there, I love that. You can make them really big, you can make them small. So we want you to have fun. So draw some snowflakes, maybe you just have dots, maybe you draw stars. Yes! Good job. So again, we're using this fun, magical marker. Can you see the lines on the camera? Yeah, they look great. Sweet. You could even add a smiley face star. Okay. Add a, I don't know how. I just drew a smiley face. Smiley face. It'll be a hidden smiley face. It'll be a heart. My Vita likes a lot of hearts. Got it. Cool little hearts. You can color some in. You can draw something. So, and if you can't see yours, if you come to the side, it might help. But again, we're using this really fun marker. Oh, you drew hearts. Good job. Okay, next step is, is we are going to let that fully dry. Now, while it's drying, let's get our watercolors ready to paint. What colors do you want to do? Yeah, okay. So do you want to put some out? I'll help you. So if you want to mix different colors, we have a guide. So yeah, put a, how about you put a little bit of each color out in one of the wells. And I really love this palette for that. Okay, so I was gonna say is that if you have our box, grab your color mixing guide and do you see how we can make a whole rainbow of colors? So we're starting with these three, but if you mix these two together, you're gonna make these two. If you mix these two together, you make these two. So if you wanna make a rainbow color, pick which one you want and then maybe you go and do it. So. While Lou's doing that, let's see. Whoops, sorry. So she's doing the primary colors, which are blue, red, and yellow. I'm gonna mix some pink and some yellow. That makes orange, where we have orchid right now. Let's see. Can you wanna do, can you do two drops of blue? So blue and us orchid are gonna make purple, and then we need a green. So yellow and green, or yellow and blue make green. So we'll mix those together. So now, nice. Okay, so let's see what we got here. There's our orange. What color did you make, Lou? Oh, look at that color. That's pretty. And whenever you mix color, we always swish our brush in the cup and then you're gonna tap it off of on your paper towel. Oh, there's our green. Yes! Pretty green. So pretty. And then we have our blue. And then we have some yellow. So I always like to make the colors first and then I'm gonna start painting. So, you ready? Now, yes. let's make sure there's one test I want you to do is I want you to touch this and make sure it's not too wet. It'll be a little sticky. Oh, don't rub yet. It's a little sticky. So just lightly glide. So I think we're good. Okay, so pick any color and I want you to paint. And I want you to have fun. So pick a color. Ooh. Oh. Blue, yes. So we're gonna paint over the lines that we drew. And when you're doing this, is you can also mix colors. So maybe I have blue, maybe I want some of this purple that Luna made. 
and you can mix it. So see how it made a whole other color? Yes. Holy cow, look at that sky color. Whoa. Ooh, and look Ooh, how it moves paint. off of the letter and stars you drew. Yes. Ooh, that's fun to see. So you're just going to keep painting Whoa. now. Oh. <laughs> look at that magic. Look at that magic. I love that color. That is a pretty color. Good job. Okay, so let's do another one. Another one. What color are you going to do now? You want pink? I think it got, might got mixed up. We can make some pink right there. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. yeah. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Ooh. This is great. Ooh, I'm going to do a rainbow. Okay, do a rainbow. Kind of. Like a secret sky rainbow? Mm-hmm. A secret sky? A secret rainbow. It's a rainbow in disguise because it's not in order. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> Made it up myself. Ooh, boo! I like yours! Yes. So you did a color, then you're doing a color inside of it? <gasps> Ooh. You're cool. Oh yeah, that's kind of my rainbow. I kind of mixed it in. Neat. These colors are so fun. And these letters are just... <laughs> Magic! Okay, so now we wait. So for this step is we want to wait till your painting is fully dry. So we're going to actually take a snack break. Ooh. Or if you want to make more, you can repeat those steps and make more. But we're going to take a snack break and then we'll meet you back. Go. Okay, so we are back from our snack break. Luna had a piece of candy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but ours is almost dry. Now, if yours isn't quite dry, I wanna show you a trick. Is Lou, can you take that paper towel? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay it on top and just pat it. So you're just gonna make sure it's dry. So I'm not scraping, I'm just patting it. Because on this gum marker, sometimes the paint might bubble up on there. So oh. we're just kind of getting it off. Okay, how is that? Boom. Whoa, well, yours look awesome. Yeah. Okay, so guess what our next tool is? Our finger. <gasps> <laughs> so take a finger out. <laughs> just in case you're wondering <laughs> and on top of where you made your gum marker I want you to rub and go like this and go like that to get it off the paper yes look what's happening you see what's oh, happening so you're scraping wow. it and you're rubbing the marker Ooh, off pro tip make sure your fingers are dry oh that way you don't pick up your paint Oh, yeah, you might blend in a little bit. And it might be a little bit wet still, but that's But it okay. might be really cool. I think it still looks so cool. So we are rubbing off this gum marker because what this is, it's a magical marker, but it's basically glue. So it dried, and so we're rubbing it off. And yes, your fingers are going to also change colors, but hmm. that's okay. Now, if you don't want to use your finger, Good job! You can leave it like this, because it still looks really cool. Or can you hand me that square right there? That, yeah, that one. This is called a cement pickup. Now, what it is, is... A cement pickup? I think that's what it's called. Really? Is it also does the same thing. Well, so think of it like an eraser. Oh, so, so your finger stays clean. Yeah, so you can also... Do you want to try this, Lou? So try that. So you're going to use the edge just like an eraser you do in school. So we, we have those on our website if you want to try one of those. They're really cool actually too. But again, if you don't want to use your finger, you could just leave it. Is that working for you? Yeah. Okay, so this is our step. So this is the magical step. You'll see some white. You might get some cool blending of your color. Then you're going to want to, yep, get it all off. <laughs> <laughs> Runaway tools again. <laughs> You're good. Okay. Boom! Yay! 
Yes, good job. Now let's do take our tape off. We always like this magical removal part. Oh. Oh yeah, you gotta go slow and careful away from your painting. Yeah, you might get some. It's okay if it tapes it, but yeah, if you go a little bit slower and go away from it, it'll help it. Oh, that's okay if it rips it. Oh, it kind of looks cool. Yeah, that's some cool effect. There you go. So the fun thing about this project is you can make more. And now you know this cool technique of using the pen and you can make more. Ooh, yes. Maybe you make a really big one. Maybe you make uh, one that says someone's name. What are you thinking, Keenan? Uh, I have so many ideas. I don't know where to start. Tell us start. two of them. Two ideas. One, you could do do not enter and make a <laughs> sign for your bedroom door. <laughs> I like that so one. So it's really clear not to go in. <laughs> Two, you could do place cards like we've done before. Oh yeah, if you have a family dinner coming uh -huh. up. Uh-huh, or if you want to do a tea party. <gasps> I love tea parties. I used to do tea parties when I was a kid and I always had mint tea. Oh. I love mint tea, peppermint <laughs> tea. Nice, good job, you Way did it. Be. Can we show them? Was that fun? Oh. Yeah. So what you can do is you can write on the back of them. So using a different marker, a marker or a crayon or a pencil, and you can write them a note and then give it to them. So Luna's going to do that. And I also wanted to give a shout out because Keenan had mentioned that you can do this if you have a family gathering coming up, but you also can paint with your brothers and sisters or your aunts and uncles Ooh. or your friends. But we wanted to give a shout out to a family this is Cayman, Adeline, and Cannon, and they're nine, six, and five. And they paint together, and you can see the fun projects they've made. And we wanted to give a shout out to Cayman, because she's so great, and she's the oldest, and she helps all of her siblings remember the kids' motto that we say together. And all of them are just great. So if you have family, go and paint with them. And we'll say bye. Do you want to say bye to our friends? Okay, bye. We're going to draw a little bit more. Thanks for painting.